Zippity doo da, beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, uh, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to do something a little bit different here today. Um, we're going to do what is called as a case study. Basically, what that means is that you look at an example of a real business and how they're utilizing the the different type of marketing tools and the different type of marketing uh, that we talk about here. Okay. So I'm going to show you how a small business generated $138,460 in four days from their already existing current customer base. Now this is a local business. Some of you might be internet marketers. Some of you might run local businesses. Um, now in particular, this example here was of a furniture store, but it really doesn't matter what type of business that you have. Um, you just would need to implement what they have implemented and then uh, you would generate approximately the same type of results that they will, okay? So this furniture store, uh, what they did is, uh, again, it's a local furniture store, uh, but they were, they're, they're not a, uh, like part of a franchise or the chain of Ashley's Furniture, but they are a distributorship that only sells Ashley's Furniture. And again, they generated an extra $138,460 in four days from their already existing customer base. Now, there's three specific things that they did. And some of these things you might be doing and some of these things that you might not be doing. And I'm going to say that chances are most of you are not doing these three things. Now, the first thing that they did is they posted up a sign where they could go ahead and collect some leads. The next thing that they did is out of those leads, they generated some mobile leads. So they sent out a text message to all of those subscribers. Next thing that they did is they collected email subscribers as well, and they sent out an email to all of those subscribers. So let's review what happened. So they collected, you know, out of that promotion, they collected 6,000 mobile subscribers, okay? And they made out of those 6,000 mobile subscribers, and in that four day promotion, they generated $85,438 in revenue. That is $14.23 per subscriber. So, the you might not have 6,000 mobile leads, and you might not be as big as this company was and as successful as they are, but don't look at the $85,438 look at it how many customers do you have how many leads do you have look at look at the, your already existing customer base and times that by fourteen dollars and 23 cents per uh customer that you already have and what type of results would you get from that now let's continue on now they also collected an additional twenty eight thousand seven hundred forty three email subscribers for a total of fifty three thousand twenty two dollars in revenue and that's a dollar eighty four per every email subscriber now again you might not have that many subscribers right but uh, what we want to look at is how much they were making per subscriber because if you do what they did you will get what you will get the results that they got by utilizing what they did even though that you might have a smaller subscriber list now some of you i know that are watching this some of you might think well even that's a pretty small subscriber list and you have way more than that just look at what they're doing and that way you can implement this into into what you what you are doing now when you look at both of these from the mobile subscribers and their email subscribers that is that that brought them a total of 138,000. $460 in revenue. Now, some of you are using mobile. I'm going to say most of you who are watching this video are not. Um, I know I have a lot of internet marketers as well and people who run internet-based businesses. Sure, you're going to be using email, chances are. But when I'm, I'm in this section, I really specifically want to talk to you as a small business. You know, the businesses that are running offline in local neighborhoods. Chances are that you're not using mobile marketing and chances are that you're not using email. So if look, now let's look at this. So let's look, just look at this furniture store. If they were not using mobile marketing, that means that they would have lost $85,438 in revenue. How many jobs will that create? Uh, that will send your kids to college. Just imagine what that could do to your business. 
Uh, again, maybe you don't have that many customers and maybe don't have that many subscribers, but if you started collecting support subscribers and utilizing what they did, just imagine what that could do for your business, already existing business. Now, of course, we will go out and collect even more subscribers. Now, again, uh, a lot of the in internet marketers have email, but again, as you as a small business, uh, let's say that 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 you're not using email as well. So if this business was not using email, that means they would have lost out on an additional fifty-three thousand twenty-two dollars in sales. Now let's say that they were not using both email and they were not using both mobile. That means that they would have lost out on one hundred and thirty thousand four hundred sixty dollars. You know, a lot of financial experts say that your biggest expense is the money you did not know that you were losing. So if they would have not ran this campaign, they would have not even known that they were even losing out on this money. So again, some of you are not using email. Some of you are not using mobile, but you don't know how much money that you're actually losing by not using these type of systems. So we want to go out there and, and capture leads. Now, here's an interesting study. It was done by MIT and it shows us that 78% of buyers buy after a merchant has contacted them using two marketing medias. So let's say that you are an internet marketer and let's say that you are collecting email subscribers. Okay, so you got that part covered, um, but maybe you're not using mobile. So as you can see here by watching this video, why it is so important for you to use mobile as well. Now, this, this study, again, it was done by Oracle. It also shows that 30% of buyers buy after the merchant has contacted them using uh, actually three or more. I still left it at two or more, but it's actually three or more marketing channels. And that was done by a study from Oracle. So that means e that, so that means, you know, using email, mobile marketing, social media, direct mail, the telephone, using all of these different types of marketing medias to be able to to, to stay in contact and follow up and to provide value to your customer base. Now, this was done by an MIT study, and this MIT study shows that uh, you are 22% more, more likely to buy, or a person is 22% more likely to buy when you follow up with them within five minutes. Now, I know just dealing with a lot of you small businesses, I've called you and it's taken you the day, two, three days for you to be able to even get back with me. You think I'm a customer, you know, and I'm not saying that I, who I am uh, to, to really give you too much details on that, um, but it takes you a, a couple of days sometimes to get in contact with me. If I'm a customer, you just lost that sale. Now. If you would have had mobile marketing and if you would have had email and a lot of times those people when they call you they're not ready to buy right now they're actually looking however if you neglect them they're not going to even do business with you at all and they're going to go away to someplace else so that's again why you want to use email and mobile marketing and as well as some of this other stuff so uh, if you're on our website either on the left hand side of this website or directly underneath this video you'll find some options to be able to get started with the exact same mobile marketing system that American Idol uses on a trial basis of only a buck so uh, you again depending on where you're watching this video to, to where you're gonna find that you might find that on the side of this video you might find that underneath this video um, if you're watching this video on YouTube you'll find a, a website link in the description bar underneath this video or you can just go ahead and just go visit ProStarProfits.com forward slash mission possible not impossible but mission possible and you'll see the the website link right in front of you as you're watching this video uh, but I do hope this information has been helpful take care everyone have a great day and we'll talk with you shortly have a great day now. Bye-bye.